Hey guys, how are we? And I hope everybody is well. I hope you're all managing to have the most amazing summer and you've all managed to get away on a holiday, especially if it was here to Ibiza. I haven't made a vlog for a long time and I really have missed making them, but this summer has been so intense and so busy work-wise. Uh, there's been so much going on, not complaining though. Um, also, it's been one of the hottest summers that I can remember. I haven't had too much free time, but when I have, I've really been trying to make the most of the island and enjoy what Ibiza has to offer uh, so this year I've been going to the clubs I've been going to the parties to beaches which I've never been to before and also trying out many of the new restaurants which pop up every single year over the summer I've met so many fantastic people some that live on the island but the majority that are visiting some of you are subscribers to the channel and you've come and said hello so I appreciate that a great deal if you haven't subscribed please do hit that subscribe button it is free and it helps the channel a great deal anyhow guys it's great to be back making a vlog Let's get straight into it. This one is a typical weekend in high season. There's a lot of running round involved, but I hope you enjoy it. Let me know what you think. Okay, so I'm now down in San Antonio. It's 33 degrees. It's just before six o'clock and this evening, I have a group of 22 girls heading out on what we call the Lazy Day Charter. It's a really cool charter. It's low cost. It starts from 60 euros a person and that's for three hours and includes all your drinks. And tonight I'm heading out with them. It's been a while since I've been out on this boat, so it should be fun. We're gonna head around the West Coast, go to places such as Calabasa, Calaconta, Port de Torrent, and then slowly cruise back past Mambo's as the sun sets. So let's go see what this boat charter is all about. I'm sure many of you know this area. It's San Antonio where the Egg Roundabout is. Let's take a look at Esparadis. And then you also have Eden just across the road. And then this side you have San Antonio Beach. It is hot. What a cool group of girls. There were 22 people all the way from the north of Scotland. So San Antonio now is just starting to come alive, but I'm heading the opposite direction. Gonna go for some food, have an early-ish night because tomorrow is crazy Saturday. Let me just show you around San Antonio. In front, you have a Beetha Rocks bar and Ithaca. There we have the bay and then the bungee rocket, which I actually went on three times last week. Morning guys, it's just before 9 a.m. and today is gonna to be a little bit of a crazy Saturday. Now the reason it's gonna be crazy is because we are very busy. Today we have six groups that are gonna be arriving in the villas. But first of all, um, we have the groups that are currently here checking out at 10 a.m. and then all the villas need to be prepared and get them ready for the guests that are arriving at various points throughout the day. We have to hope that the guests that are checking out have left the villas in reasonable conditions um, because that will then help us speed things up and we can get the guests that are arriving in as quick as possible. Another part of the business which we do is we have a delivery and collection service around the island. We provide other villas and other agencies with equipment such as wooden cots, beds, gym equipment such as treadmills, spin bikes, running machines, portable air conditioning units, um, many many things. Our delivery team are going to be out and about collecting those things in this morning and then later on this afternoon when new guests arrive in other people's villas they will be out and about around the island um, delivering the items back out. So for me it's going to be a little bit of a run around day today. I'm sure there'll be a few twists and turns along the way and then later on this evening I have another boat charter for 29 hens so looking forward to that but first I am going to finish my croissant and then we'll get the show on the road. The first villa which I'm heading to is one called Villa Besso and this is in San Antonio. It's not too far away from O Beach 
and the guests have actually checked out this morning at 8 a.m. We arranged a transfer for them from the villa to the airport. So I'm gonna head down there first, just before the cleaners arrive and uh, see what condition it's in. And then later on this afternoon, we have the new guests arriving in this house. Saturday morning in San Antonio Bay, the roads are fairly quiet. It's only about a five minute drive uh, to get to Villa Beso. This could be an interesting one because we've had a group of 10 guys staying in here for a week and they checked out this morning. Let's go see how it's been left. Always the moment of truth. Aircon on. Quite a lot of washing up to do, not too bad. Plenty of alcohol left over. We often find that in the villas, um, we're always left over with plenty of alcohol. Maybe have a big end of season party. Not too bad overall. Cleaning team, get on it. It should take about five hours to get this place ready for the next guests to arrive. Let's go see how the outside area is. I've also found these sunglasses. That's another thing we get left a lot of. Do they suit me? What do you think? I can pull these ones off. Anyway, there is the pool area. I can see myself jumping in there if it gets much hotter. So now at villa number two, which is Villa Carve. We've had a family stay in here for a week. So I'm hoping this one is in a little bit of a better condition than the last one, but. Uh, let's go find out. The guys have just got in a taxi. Ah, yes. You can tell this one is going to be okay already. Let's have a quick look upstairs. Yeah, can't ask for better than this. Um, yeah, and we have the cleaners just about to arrive here and then the new guests again checking in from before. Let's go check out the outside pool area. The grass is a little bit dry. It's been so hot lately. Another very inviting swimming pool. Okay, let's crack on with preparing Villa Carvey. It is now quarter past one and all the villa cleans are under control. We have two groups which have checked in already. We've managed to check them in early, which is always good. I now am gonna head back to the office, do a little bit of admin, catch up on some inquiries and a little bit of organization um, on some of the boats that we have this afternoon and tomorrow morning, which will be Sunday. But first, before I do that, I'm gonna head for a coffee. Now, because it's so hot and I drink a lot of coffee, I'm gonna go, I have a new favorite drink and it is a Cafe Con Leche Con Hielo, which is basically an iced coffee. So this Cafe Con Leche Con Hielo drink is quite a new thing to me and uh, some of you may have already seen this before, but you actually get the hot coffee, the glass with ice, burn your fingers, Oops. And it is super refreshing. Cheers. Okay, the time is now just before 10 to five and it's 35 degrees. I am in the same car park as this time yesterday and because I'm heading out on another boat, but it is a different boat. This one is called the San Anshik and today we have 29 girls heading out on a four hour sunset charter. This one's a little bit different um, because we have a DJ planned, we have catering on board, we have all the drinks included. We're gonna head around the same route, but this time I have the drone, so I'm hoping that if it's good conditions out there, we can get some pretty good drone shots.
Okay, we are now back round to Monday and I think the last clips that I shot for the vlog was on Saturday afternoon when I was on a boat charter with the most amazing group of girls from Hertfordshire. For me today, Monday has been an office day dealing with all the inquiries that we have coming up uh, and organising for other events villa rentals and boat charters that we have. If you are watching up until this point, then thank you very much for sticking with it. Hope it gets to show you a little bit of what is going on here in July, island life, and some of the things that I get up to um, on a work daily basis here. The time now is quarter past eight and it is 30 degrees, which is hot. So it's probably a little bit of a silly time to do this, but I'm just heading out for a quick 5K run in Port des Torrent. Um, in a month or in a couple of months time, I have a half marathon in my hometown of Grimsby. So I've got to try to keep up a little bit training for that but I've got to admit it is quite difficult in the summer months so tonight I'm just heading around past the sea view the aura gonna head towards uh, Kumaras uh, and then back up towards Port des Torrent so off I go okay we're passing Campy or fish restaurant you need to go here for a paella Woo, it's hot. Okay, here you have Cala Den Soleil, where you have concerts, exhibitions, art shows going on. It's a pretty cool place. And this place coming up, I'm sure you all know it, it's Kumara's. And you have to go here for a beer at sunset. This place is the Hotel Amare, and if you're not in Kumara's having a beer, then you should be on that rooftop having a beer. Amazing views across the bay, stunning sunset views. That's the Hotel Amare. Okay, 5k done. That was tough. Just under half an hour. As you can see by my face, it was so hot. Thank you for watching. Please subscribe if you haven't already. I now I'm gonna go jump in there.